not drink and drive, folks. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, drunk driving claimed the lives of almost 11,000 people in 2017, and it remains the leading cause of death on U.S. roads. As we celebrate New Year's Eve tonight, let's take a moment to get some tips on being safer on our roadways. And joining us this morning on Ask a Specialist is Christina T.J. Donari, Clinical Coordinator for Trauma Services at the Queens Medical Center Punch Bowl. Christina, thank you so much for joining us this morning. So if we are heading out to drink to a New Year's Eve party, how should we, say, plan ahead? Planning ahead. You have to always remember that even one drink can impair your judgment and slow your, act, slow your reaction. So when you're, eat, when you're out drinking, uh -huh. always eat something, you know, heavier foods, rice, bread, yeah. pastas, um, with, when you're either at the bar or at, um, or at a party. Also, know your limits. You don't need to drink excessively to have a good time. And if you are going out, always, if you're going out, have a designated driver and stick to that. But if something happens, you can use a rideshare service to get home. It's always good to eat something in terms of just kind of absorbing yes, the alcohol, right? Yes, absorbing the alcohol, Plus, absolutely. there's always going to be lots of great food at the parties. <laughs> there's always good food. So what, what about on the flip side? Say you're hosting a party. What can you do? So if you're hosting a party, it's always great to offer, like, fun and fruity mocktails. It could, you know, some kind of non-alcoholic drink. Let the guests choose if they want to either drink or not. Always offer poo-poos um, mm -hmm. with alcohol, like we just said, to eat yeah. and to absorb some of that alcohol. And let, let your guests pace themselves. You know, we always want to be good hosts and fill up drinks, but let them fill up their own drinks and, and, and get them when they're ready. Because yeah, they know their own. You don't want to be pushing too much, right? No. <laughs> All right, so what should you do if you're actually driving on the roads tonight in the holidays? So if you're driving on the roads during the holidays, you want, you want to plan ahead. Don't rush. When you're rushing, you're not paying attention. Um, also, stay alert. Drive defensively as we do. Maybe give a little bit more space in between cars in case you need to react more quickly. Always wear your seatbelt and just stay calm and be cool. You know, hold yourself responsible as well as others so we can keep our community safe. Yeah, very good tips right there. And did you know that Queen's Punch Bowl is the first and only level one trauma center in Hawaii and the Pacific? Yes. And as part of their commitment as a level one trauma center, their trauma injury prevention program works with community groups to enhance safety. Now, for more information on injury prevention and community outreach, you can call 691-7059. And to learn more about Queen's Emergency and Trauma Services, just go to queens.org and click on Emergency and Trauma. Christina, thank you so thank much you for so joining much. us this morning, and have a great New Year's Eve you and too. New Year's.